Hey guys, I just sat down to make a video and I thought I was going to put some lipstick on. And I ended up putting this NYX, oh what are these, Lip Smacking Fun Colors in Color Spellbound. And as soon as I put it on I looked into the viewfinder in my camera and thought that looks bad. <laughs> I'm just not feeling it. I don't think it suits my skin tone that much. I have been keeping this because the texture is so nice, the application is so smooth, it's so pigmented, but the color is just, I don't know, too cool toned, it washes me out, it just does not match my skin tone. I, so then I thought, you know what, I'm going to swatch all my lipsticks, or as many as I can, as many as my lips will take, and basically purge the ones that I think don't look that great. So the makeup I've got on today is not much as you can see, but it's pretty much what I wear most days. So I'm going to go with that. I'm going to try the lipsticks on with this makeup and see how I feel. I don't often wear bright, you know, really strong makeup where, where I could then wear, you know, more bright colored lipsticks. So there's no use holding onto these sort of colors when you know, the only time I'd wear it is maybe if I do a tutorial or some sort of, you know, crazy event. So, yeah, I cannot see myself wearing this, so this is gonna go. Here are the lippies. Here's most of them. Actually, the ones I do wear are not in this box. They're just kind of thrown in the drawer, so... Uh, will most of these go? Who knows? Let's find out. I'm just gonna pull random ones out. This I got in a beauty box. By model co is called vanity fair it's a bit too brown yeah it's too brown for me it's too dark and too brown yeah it's gonna go this one by essence it is one from their permanent line i think this is dare to wear i don't have any more information about it it's just red i've never worn this it's just a bit too light for me i think and a little bit too cool tone and I've got similar other colors so if I'm gonna keep one I'll just keep one <laughs> uh, however texture is really nice application is really nice and also another comment about this model co vanity fair that I had on before you want to hear a joke about it it's supposed to be matte what a joke did you see how shiny that was like glistening yeah whatever anyway it's going so who cares all right what's this one Natio lip pout in shine Oh yeah, this is the, uh, it's a uh, see-through kind of metallic. I wonder if you could wear this over another lipstick. See, like, where am I going to wear that? Mm -hmm. I know some people really love that frosty look. Just, nah. <laughs> you know what, I'm going to try it over um, a color. See if it does anything for me, although I don't think it will because I'm not a big fan of frosty lipsticks. Misty Mauve. This is by Ulta 3. It is a matte. And I don't mind their matte lipsticks for... I think they're like 5 bucks each, which is really good. Even though they're matte, it's very easy application. And I like this color. I mean, what's there not to like? It's pretty natural. Let's try this Natio on top of it. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. No. Okay, that's going. The Natio one is going. And like, who wears two lipsticks, you know, one top of the other? I mean, people do, but how often do you do it? On an everyday basis, I don't. Okay, another matte by Ulta 3 is called Sandalwood. I do like this one. This is the most nude I'll ever go. Anything lighter and I look dead. Like, this one's right on the cusp. Yeah, I kind of already look a bit washed out and kind of deadish with this because my eye makeup's not that heavy, but with a bit heavier eye makeup and a little bit more blush and contouring, this looks okay and some days i do that i you know keep everything you know make everything a little bit darker but yeah this is on the cusp i'm gonna keep it it's really interesting because it it's matte but it has like this frosty matte sheen to it i know i just said i don't like frost lipsticks but i don't like frost metallic you know like the, the sun catches on them and you know you, you get blinded i don't like those uh whereas this one it, it's really interesting it's got this like satin uh finish to it which yeah, I think is interesting so I'm keeping that one we have Bella Babe and this is by Sugar Baby Cosmetics I think it's an Australian brand 
This is one of my favorite red lipsticks from what I remember. I used to wear it a lot and then I kind of got out of that phase, but let's see what it looks like. It's quite similar to that Essence Dare to Wear, but this one has a little special place in my heart because I remember I really loved it so much. I went and got a backup, probably one of the first things I ever got a backup of. The packaging is like filthy because that rubberized, you know, yucky, all everything sticks to it. But the actual lipstick itself is fine. All right, next from Sugar Baby, I have Birthday Suit. And this is one of the only pink lipsticks that I actually have. This sort of pink, kind of like that. Not Barbie pink, but you know, it's not some dusty brownie pink, it's just pink. Uh, so I'm gonna keep this one. And this is the lightest pink I would ever go. I mean, even this might be a little bit too light pink, but I'm gonna keep this one. Next one is True Blue, and again, it's Sugar Baby. And this is a darker red than the Bella Babe that I tried on before. This one I am keeping uh, between Bella Babe and this color, uh, True Blue. Really love True Blue. Uh, it's, I think it's, a red that really suits my skin tone. Bella Babe is a little bit lighter. An Australis lipstick. This is one of their older lipsticks. Uh, don't know how old. Uh, oh, it has SPF 30. That's nice. It's called Devotion and it's this pink. Uh, it's pretty much my lip color. Uh, I like this color. Gonna keep it. Okay, these are Maybelline, I don't know what they're called, Wet F Shine Fusion. And I really loved these back in the day, hence why I still have them. This was one of my absolute favorites. This is number 20 in Berry Intense. They're very glossy, easy to wear, just comfortable, and um, I really should wear this more often. I mean, how much is left? Not much, maybe about half the product. I really should use these up because they're getting quite old now. I remember when I used to wear this all the time, I actually used a whole one, which is unheard of me going through a lipstick. So of course I went back and bought another one. And also because at the time they were on sale, I obviously got a few more shades, but uh, I ended up holding up on this one and a more purpley one that I'll show you next. Purpley one is in shade 40 Glossy Grape. I feel like the purple one kind of smells a bit old. These are the swatches. You can see the berry is much more intense than the grape is a lot more kind of glossy sheer. So I'm not sure if I'll keep the purple one. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna get rid of this. Yep, grape is going. I'm keeping, keeping the berry one. Oh gosh, it's such an old lipstick. This is Chanel in 96 Ingenue. And this is one of my first high-end purchases. And I've actually used it a fair bit. It still has that characteristic Chanel scent. A perfumey, rosy type. Uh, and I think it still looks good. So keeping that one too. Just another Sugar Baby lipstick this is in loca mocha and it's a more brown toned lipstick i don't mind it especially now that the browns are coming more in uh this is more of like a nude color for me so i'm gonna keep that one all right next we have uh this is by la girl and it's in the shade festive the application is like butter like it seriously glides on and the pigmentation is really good. It smells good too. And it's probably why I keep have been keeping hold of it. Keeping, I can't even speak. Keeping hold of it, whatever. <laughs> the reason I still have it, let me just finish putting this on. What a, what a bad swatch. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, it glides on, pigmentation is great. It smells nice. It's really comfortable on the lips, but the color is just, it's just a bit too, too light for my skin tone. It's too cool tone, I think. It's same, same with the other reds I'm getting rid of. 
I wish I had this in a different color. Uh, Rimmel, part of the Kate Moss lipstick lines. This is in number four and it's the purple one. I have not actually worn this yet. Swatches are so bad. Look at that. Look at that upper lip. Like, seriously. <laughs> this swatch to me looks like Max Cyber, which I have. So let's do a quick comparison. Because I have it right here. And Max Cyber was my first MAC lipstick. Ooh, okay. Here's the two seriously dupes. Uh, the only difference I can find is that Max Cyber is a slightly less sheen to it than the Kate in number four. I'm not gonna wear this on a daily basis, there's no way. But I do love this color, so I'm gonna keep one of the two. Thing is, sometimes when you find something that's high-end, let's say MAC Cyber, MAC in Australia, a lipstick is $36. 36. 36. Like, seriously, it's ridiculous money. So when I find a dupe, for a MAC lipstick, I kind of want to keep it, but then it's like, right, so when are you going to wear this crazy color that you never wear, which one are you going to choose? The expensive one, because you've got it and you got to use it, or the cheaper one? Um, <laughs> I would go for the expensive one, obviously, because it's more expensive, and the MAC formula is a little bit more dry. However, because the Rimmel one is less matte is more comfortable on the lips i think but let's find out i'll put mac cyber on mac cyber is definitely slightly drier a little bit more draggy when i put it on my lips but it feels like it would stay a bit longer because of that whereas the uh rimmel one feels like a more normal <laughs> normally textured lipstick where you would need to reapply and with colors this dark you don't really want it slipping around too much however I'm kind of caught in the middle because I just got this and you're probably wondering well why did you buy it if it's so similar to cyber I didn't know that I thought it was more of a purple purple rather than a this dark eggplant type of purple um, I didn't realize they're exactly the same because I got it online I'm not gonna lie though the Kate one does feel nicer on the lips because it's less thick if that makes sense you know what I'm gonna keep both for now this isn't life decisions Natalie it's just lipstick just keep it for now I've here some Calvin Klein lipsticks that were three dollars on our sale so I got a few to try uh, this color is first kiss and it's a quite a light pink that's not too bad it looks similar to another one I'm keeping let's do some swatchy swatchy here's Calvin Klein on the right and Devotion by Australis on the left the Australis one is much much more smooth to apply whereas the Calvin Klein one's a little bit more matte myself I do prefer more matte finished lip products personal preference okay I don't know it's too hard I'm just gonna put those two on the side and hopefully by the end of this swatch fest I would have I will be so fed up with all the lipsticks that I have I'm just gonna pick one all right next what do we have uh, we have pure chic by Ulta 3 and it says that it's not a matte but seriously to me it's like they're matte lipsticks so yeah I think it'll be nice for summer. I think I'll keep that one too. The nice thing with the Ulta 3 lipsticks is that their matte lipsticks aren't that dry. Like, they look really good, they apply really well, and they're not like completely drying your lips out. Next I have these two Ulta 3 lipsticks, and they're both red. They're both in the shade Deep Red Rose Matte. And the funny thing is, the initial packaging for Ulta 3, or the previous packaging, was this more cheaper looking packaging which got the clear cap and you've got the matte lipstick holder and then your lipstick one of my favorite colors and then they changed their package to this more sleek looking packaging um, looks like that and when I went to when I saw these I thought this was a new lipstick but it's not it's actually the same 
This red one was my first Ulta 3. Now that I'm putting it on, it kind of looks like some of the reds that I've gotten rid of because they're too bright. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of the older packaging and the older one and keep the new one. Another lipstick I got from Ulta 3 is this one called Rose Bloom and it's another one of my favorites, just a muted pink and I actually have a few muted pinks that I wear daily so we might get to them by the end of the video but for now let's go through these first. Keeping that one, sorry I've got like smears everywhere from previous lipsticks. Another Calvin Klein lip color, this is in Sinful. Sinful is this just red. Red? I've got all these red lipsticks I never wear. This is going, by the way. <laughs> I got way too many. And this one's just gonna go. It's going. They applied nice. Mm. Okay, I've got a nude by uh, Chanel. This is in Baby Gold, number 27. It's a nice nude. It does have, it's kind of like a shimmery nude and I don't mind it uh, for summer. I think it's okay. I have two Barry M lip paints, I think they're called. And this number 156, which I think is Vicious Violet or something like that. And they're both the same because one of them uh, it's kind of broken at the base and I emailed ASOS where I got it from and they sent me another one. Well, it's not really broken at the base. It just wiggles too much. However, it's a really nice color and I did not mind having two because I think it's a really nice berry tone for my skin tone. So a normal person would just give up the semi-broken one. It's not really broken, it's still usable. Uh, but now I have two and I quite like the color. So I'm gonna hold on to those for now. The next lip product is by L'Oreal and it's their Beyonce lip color in... Maybe it's called Beyonce. No. Beyonce is red. Beyonce. Now I'm not going to put this on my lips because these are actually really good in terms of staying power but again the colour is super bright. So I'm going to swatch it on my... Oh, oh such a beautiful colour, I can't... Look at that, like seriously. <laughs> I can't bring myself to get rid of it, I never wear it though. And then it's got the lip butter thing on the other side. I just can't do it. Look at that. Actually, I'm going to quickly swatch it on my lips because that wiped off pretty quickly because it hadn't set yet. Let's try it on. Ah, so easy to apply. And like once this sets, it does not budge. But seriously. Uh oh, I'm starting to set. Okay, come on. Like, it's already set on the edges. It was on for like two seconds. I really should look into other colors from this line because staying power is phenomenal. It just like seals on. Until you eat something oily, of course. But, <laughs> um, oh, I don't know what to do. Why am I, I'm like this with every single red lipstick that I've gone through pretty much. Uh, speaking of red, there's one more. This was with one of my beauty subscription, subscription boxes. I remember this was actually really nice. It's by Clara and it's called Kiss Proof Lips. No. Whatever it's called. Oh. Okay. The formula is so light. It's like I'm spreading like mousse or something. And I'm still going with that one dip. However, as you can see, mm, also it's matte, which I love. But see how bright it is for my skin? 
this and like the last four reds I've put on my face. <laughs> oh, mm. The finish is really nice. It's like totally matte. And that just, mm. it's almost like powdery. That's how matte it is. Oh, <laughs> I really love the finish. I'm going to keep this one. Uh, righto, well, that was the box. Let's go on to, holy shit. Oh, so many. Okay, I'm going to make two parts, right? Part one ends here. See you guys in part two.